Hello, so we're going to talk about making metamorphic rocks. Um, this is the third type of rock that we've learned about, the other being others being igneous and sedimentary. So metamorphic rocks form from other rocks. For example, this rock granite um, could eventually over time become this rock gneiss. You can see similarities, but they're also quite different. Um, the first step is that rocks have to be under the Earth's surface, either pushed under by moving tectonic plates, like in this picture here, or because of other layers forming on top of them, like sedimentary rocks, which we can see in this picture here, the other layers are formed on top. Okay, and so the movement of plates or the layers above put a lot of pressure onto the rocks. You can see that image here, or you could also think about how if plates are moving together, and crashing and colliding that there'll be, be a lot of pressure. Then, as you can see, there's also heat coming up from the center of the earth. This could be because of a near -vol volcano or because the rocks are very deep in the earth, but there's lots of heat coming from the earth's core. So that's where the energy for this change comes from, the earth's core. Um, and so for essentially the heat and pressure combine together to change the rocks so much that they're no longer the same as they were before. They're what we would consider a new type of rock called a metamorphic rock. All right, metamorphic rocks um, form very slowly. It can take millions of years, like most rock formation, except for igneous rock formation, or except for extrusive igneous rock formation. Entire layers or large areas of rock can become metamorphic. I've walked through canyons in Mexico, and you can, and you know, for a mile, we could see this layer of. Uh, wavy metamorphic rocks. Um, so when the rocks do form, they may have crystals or gems, like you can see in this one right here. This is a schist with some garnets in it. They might have thin lines, like in this one, um, where you can see that there are actually like these lines of minerals that have been squashed into these straight rows. Or you can end up with wavy layers from the plates um, squishing the rocks. So what were straight lines are now in um, these wavy formations. So that is metamorphic rocks and how they form.